Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm doing this video as a kind of as a request um, because I did a video on uh, bore sighting your red dot scope and uh, we used a measurement of about five feet, four to five feet away. Uh, there's some other measurements. If you're interested in that video, guys, watch that video. It's really, really good. And it'll put you on paper uh, without using uh, a shit ton of ammo to do it. But anyway, we sighted it in with a bore sight, right? We used a laser bore sight. Um, this is a nine millimeter round laser bore sight. I've got them for all my calibers of weapons. I, I do it for all of my weapons. I bore sight them in um, with these uh, with these bore sights. And a lot of people say, yeah, John, if the, if the bore sight isn't accurate, if the bore sight is off, it's going to throw the whole, you know, the whole sighting it in off. And you know what? You're absolutely right. Now, here's a really easy, quick trick to number one, find out if your bore sight's actually accurate, right? Because how are you going to know if it's accurate? Um, it's a laser. You can't fucking look at it, right? If you shine it into your eye, you're screwed. So you don't want to do that. So, but I'm going to show you a little trick on how I do that if the bore sight's off. And and uh, and yeah, sometimes these bore sights can be off, right? So again, I'm going to use a nine millimeter, right? These just turn on by twisting the back and, and locking it down. You can see the bore sight's on now, right? The laser's coming out. Um, I'm going to use my Glock just because it's easy to show you on this versus a rifle. Um, Weapon is cleared. There's no magazine, right? There's nothing in the weapon. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and and uh, put the laser uh, bore sight um, into the weapon, right? So we're going to put the laser bore sight into the weapon, and we're going to let that slide kind of go nice and easy forward. I don't like to let the slide fall um, on the on the bore sight. It's a little bit bigger than. Uh, than where it needs to be. So you can see that that laser is coming out of the, the end of the weapon, right? It's coming out of the barrel of the gun. Now, again, I can't just flip this muzzle around or look down the end of a barrel at a friggin' laser because it's going to destroy my vision. So how do we how do we know or how are we going to determine? Um, because if I point it at something, it's not going to tell me if that's actually centered, right? I guess I could look through my sights, but how am I supposed to sight it in if the bore sight's off and I sight it to a bore sight that's off? How am I going to tell? I'm going to show you right now. Here's the secret. Black duct tape. Black duct tape. We're going to rip off a chunk of black duct tape, right? And, uh, and the reason I use black is because nothing goes through it. I'm going to put that on the end of my muzzle. I'm going to flatten it down just on the end, right? And go around in a circle so I can see the end of the barrel right there, the end of the muzzle. I'm going to flip this light off so I can show you. Do you see that laser coming out of there, right? Do you see that laser coming out? Do you see the indentation of my muzzle? Well, I know that this muzzle is a nine millimeter, so it's a half inch across. So uh, for half an inch in diameter. So at a quarter of an inch in the middle, if it's a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch, then that red, then that bore sight is going to be centered and it's going to be accurate coming out of the end of my firearm. What if it's not? What if it's not? You can actually look at this because again, there's nothing coming through there. There's no light. There's no laser coming through there because the tape is blocking that. So how do I, if it's not centered, how do I still get a center on my bore sight, even if it's off a little bit? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that too. Let me flip this light back on. Here's what we're going to use. Another trick. This is a bamboo skewer with a really pointed, sharp end. I'm just going to simply, you know, and, and you, you know, you want to do this, find the middle of the muzzle, right? Find the middle of the barrel, and you're going to punch a hole directly into the center of that, of that uh, duct tape. Now, the only light protruding from that is actually coming from the center right, from the hole that I created in the center of that duct tape. And I'm going to show you right here on this wall, right here on this blanket, you can see the light coming through where before it was not. Now, I've got a bore sight that actually has light coming through <clears throat> that is centered on my barrel. Now, I can go ahead and uh, bore sight my red dot scope off of this using the technique that I showed you in that video. Guys, I hope this helps. 
Um, I hope this explains a lot. I hope this has given you uh, a little bit more um, confidence in being able to do this and uh, and knowing that it's going to work. But that's how we check our bore sight. That's how we make sure it's centered. And that's just a really, really quick, easy trick. So you don't have to keep going out and buying more and more of these bore sights and hoping that they're accurate. You can actually make them accurate. Guys, leave me some comments in below. Uh, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Guys, give me some thumbs up if you like the videos. If the videos help, please share them with others. Um, introduce them to my channel so we can get more and more subscribers. Guys, again, really appreciate all of your support and uh, tells me that uh, you like the content that we're putting out. I'm going to keep putting videos out like this to help you improve your skills. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.